So start off by checking the System tab in your Windows Control Panel to find out whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. You can see here I have a 64-bit version of Windows. So I'm going to go to WAMPServer.com, scroll down, and I'm going to select the 64-bit version of WAMP. And I'll click this Download Directly button, and it will take me to SourceForge. Then I'm going to click Download. And we'll skip ahead to the point where this file has finished transferring. Okay, so you can see that the file has finished downloading, so at this point you can click on it to begin the installation. Go ahead and select yes if you get a prompt asking whether you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer. Select your language, accept the license agreement, and you don't have to change any settings during this installation. Just go ahead and click Next anytime you see a message and click Install. And this will take a few minutes, so once again we'll skip ahead just a bit. Okay, so now I'm getting a message asking if I'd like to change the default browser for WAMP to something other than Internet Explorer. So I'm going to choose Yes because I do want to change it. And I'll go to C, Program Files, Google, Chrome, Application, and I'll select Chrome. And that will change my browser for WAMP to Chrome. And now I'm seeing a message asking if I'd like to change the default text editor. I'm using Notepad and I want to keep it at Notepad, so I will select No. Now the WAMP installation is finished, so I will select Next, Finish, and I'll go over to the Windows Start menu and select WAMP Server 64, and Yes at the prompt. And now if I click this little WAMP icon in the taskbar, I'll go up to PHP My Admin to create a database to use for WordPress. The username should be root and the password needs to be blank. And click Go. And now to create my database, I'll select New. I'll name the database and select Create. And now I can download WordPress, and I do that from wordpress.org slash download. And when you get to this page, just click the Download WordPress button and let this file transfer. And now WordPress has finished downloading, and I need to move the WordPress files into the www folder of the WAMP folder. I'll show you how to do that. So you click the WordPress file, and then you can right-click on WordPress and select Copy. Then go to your C drive and to the WAMP folder. Select the www folder, right-click, and paste. And it'll take a moment to transfer. Alright, and now you can see the WordPress folder is inside of my www folder. What I can do now is go down to the taskbar, select the WAMP icon, and go to localhost. And I'll be taken to the WAMP server page. Now what you need to do when you get here is add a forward slash and the word WordPress. And this will take you to the WordPress installation wizard. So you just follow the steps from here, just like installing a WordPress site on the internet. Click continue. You need to know your database name, username, password. So my DB is the database name, root is the user, 
there is no password. And now I click run the install. I can give my site a title, create a username. This is different from the username for the database, which is root, and enter a password, an email address, and click this check button at the bottom. And now you're done, so it's time to log in. There you have it. Now you're in the dashboard for your new local WordPress installation. And there is your site.